Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. And we're going to be talking about another salacious headliner banger story. We got Michael Douglas on the scene. They're saying he don't fell out the wagon, y'all. So evidently, he's back to drinking. He's back to boozing it up, okay? That's what they say. That's what they're saying in this tabloid, okay? Let's get right on into it so we don't tear it too long, all right? Um, it's saying caught downing wine after admitting addiction issues. Yes, Michael Douglas has fallen off the wagon, y'all. Recovering addict Michael Douglas has fallen off the wagon, according to an eyewitness who snapped the star in Italy with what looks like a glass of vino. Okay, the fatal attraction heartthrob was spotted in the swanky Italian village of. Portofino while dining with friends and his bipolar wife, Catherine Zeta-Jones, who stuck with a glass of cola. Okay, the 74-year-old Wall Street actor who checked into rehab in 1992 to retreat or to treat addictions to cocaine and booze recently confessed that he hasn't stayed clean and sober. I didn't say have. I said has not. Okay. At least he's standing in his own shit. Okay. At least he is standing in his own stuff. Okay. Not really. He said in 2018 podcast interview, everything is a question of moderation, but you have to be careful because I have had addiction issues in my family. But addiction counselor Thomas Gagalino told the National Enquirer the squash buckling star and self-confessed sex addict who didn't respond to a request for comment is kidding himself if he thinks moderation is a safe option the thing about addiction is that it's a disease that tells the addict you don't have a disease said gagalona himself a record recovering addict one of the real problems with addicts is that they think they are in total control of this addiction, but in reality, the addiction controls them. The cemetery is filled with people who thought they were in control of their addiction. Michael's family has suffered a string of addictional-related tragedies. His half-brother, Eric, died in 2004 from an overdose of alcohol, tranquilizers, and painkillers at age 56. And the actress's oldest son, Cameron, was busted in 2009 for dealing crystal meth and was then caught with drugs while behind bars, increasing his sentence. Renowned relationship expert Dr. Gilda Carley said that if Michael, who was diagnosed with stage 4 oral cancer in 2010, starts hitting the bottle hard, it can devastate his Oscar-winning wife who has admitted seeking treatment for bipolar disorder and checked into a mental hospital in 2011 after Michael's medical scare. If she's as sensitive as she has shown herself to be, this is going to have a major impact on her marriage and emotional health, Dr. Carlisle told the Inquirer. Yes, y'all. The Oscar went and enjoyed a glass of wine on July 30th and a spy told on him, copped on him, snitched on him. What they say, snitches get stitches? Yeah, so they were a little paparazzi running around now taking pictures of, of Michael Douglas. And that man still look good. He might have an addiction to sex and wine or sex and alcohol. He still look good. He's 74 years old. I wouldn't have took them no more than 60, to tell you the truth. Mm -mm. But they partnered up in Portofino. Mm -hmm. Got uh, his wife, Catherine, drinking a soda. Uh, Coca-Cola, I'm assuming. You know, from looking at the pictures that are uh, posted in the magazine article under his particular article. Okay. So they had some paparazzi going around here taking photos of them. And they didn't even know what's going on. They just living their life and people just snapping pictures. Snap, snapping pictures and putting out salacious stories on them. Yes, but hey, sometimes people don't even care if they got an addiction. They just want to continue to do what they do, and that's it. Just like you're trying to tell a person to get off uh, tobacco or, you know, we call those um, tobacco products, you know what I'm saying? Because they cause cancer. They look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> Be 
ready to fight you. If anything came to you finna take something from them and they're at a certain age and they've already weighed the consequences in their mind and they say it's cheaper for me to do this than something else. So and that's pretty much with everybody, even with me, you know, with my weight loss. I know what I need to do. I know I need to lose weight. It's just that motivating scale, you know, of getting to that point and just staying fit on a daily basis. Okay. But I'm getting there. Like I said, uh, me and my daughter's going to be working out soon. Can't really tell y'all because I don't want y'all to call me to be saying, okay. Or, or putting in comments, I thought you were going to be exercising. I thought you were going to be showing us your uh, journal, your blogging journal, where you and your daughter were up there exercising, sweating them pounds out. Yep. I know I said it, and I have plans on definitely doing it. But it wouldn't be right for me to sit there and tell you I'm starting on this date, and knowing good well, I ain't planning on starting on that date. But I'm going to say soon. Soon, y'all. Soon. Okay. But you could get addicted to just about anything. Sex. Uh, money. Uh, clothes. You can have a, a situation where you like shopping all the time. And you don't know how to manage your money. And then you get behind because you don't pay to use your bill money or your savings money for some outfits or some type of apparel that you really didn't need. You just had this thirst to go out and buy it. Okay. That could be considered an addiction, especially if you're doing it on a daily or weekly or monthly basis and you're just, you know, racking up at least what five hundred to a thousand dollars worth of clothing. Many you're going over your budget that you set for yourself. So that means you're dipping into some other fund. So that is a caution. You must have to think. You have to think about what you do and how you indulge in it. Because everything, like they say, the true attitude is uh, you can watch what you're doing. And like people love to drink water, you can open assess in that and it can end up hurting you instead of helping you. Uh, exercising for long periods of time, not giving your body the rest on the strength that it took you to do some strenuous exercises. You can overdo that and hurt yourself. So we all can be addicted and don't, don't even know we're being addicted to a certain thing. And that's basically just overdoing it. You know, not staying in the parameters of, uh, say, when you're exercising and you're at this type of weight and uh, they give you a structure on what they're going to do for you for us, everything, like a total body workout, whether it's going to be weight training or it's going to be aerobic exercising or it's going to be treadmill used for cardio. So it's a lot of different you know, methods you can do. And like some people, they can exercise at a gym and they'll come home and exercise again at home for uh, long periods of time. But 15 to 30 minutes is a safe thing of high aerobic type exercising or if you're doing the gym with the uh, weights or the exercise equipment. All of this healthy, all of this good. It's just everything in moderation, okay? Even food intake. All right, so that's all I had from Mr. Michael Douglas with his fine self. Keep prayers up for him. To try to recognize he does have an addiction. It may not be a how he's looking at it, but evidently if he's suffering from other medical issues that has a straight line to uh, him drinking too much alcohol and it's causing his body to react in a negative way, then yeah, you definitely need to watch that, Michael. But like I said, the man is, what, 74? 79 years old, you get to that point of reference in your life, you don't pretty much care what people talk talking about. Half the time, you really think you don't live your life. Because my mama used to tell me all the time and still tell me, after you don't got into your 50s, going close to your 60s, you got one foot in the grave and one foot out, okay? So that's what she said. I live half a century, okay? So that's a blessing for me. But I still want to be here a little while longer. Y'all, peace and blessings to you all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. 
I got one more uh, video to put out from this particular magazine so I can use it as trash, okay? We'll be talking about Matthew Perry next, his twisted secret life, and how his whole cast turned their back on him when the job offers start rolling in and friends got canceled. They ain't even want to be bothered with him no more. And that may have a truth uh, side effect of why he's doing so poorly. But let's get on, finish this video, and hook up the next video. And then I will see y'all in the AM of another day. Okay? Have a good one, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.